Hello, YouTubers. It is I, Mike Delisle, and welcome to another episode of Mad Trippin'. In this episode, we take a look back at my 2009 summer trip to Hollywood. Travel with me as I take a look at some of the main attractions on the boulevard. Are you ready? Let's start trippin'. Hello everyone, I am Mike Delisle. I am here in Hollywood, California, along Hollywood Boulevard. There are many things to see and do here in Hollywood along the boulevard. Hollywood Boulevard is filled with souvenir shops, restaurants, museums, movie theaters, and a grandioso mall on Highland and Hollywood Boulevard. Not to mention the Hollywood Walk of Fame and Grauman's Chinese Theater. Today we are going to visit five of these attractions. Grauman's Chinese Theater, the Hollywood Wax Museum, the Guinness World Records Museum, Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium, and the recently opened Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. If you're a fast traveler, you can pass through these attractions in less than an hour each. But if you'd like to take your time, read the plaques, and take some photos or video, you could easily spend a couple hours at each attraction. Ticket prices and scheduling vary. Check out each attraction's website for current ticket pricing and hours of operation. What I like about these attractions is they're all pretty much close to each other on Hollywood Boulevard and near Highland Avenue. Our first stop is Madame Tussauds' recently opened Wax Museum. Madame Tussauds is located on the northeast corner of Orange and Hollywood Boulevard. Madame Tussauds is more of an interactive wax museum, whereas the Hollywood Wax Museum is more of a characters on a set. I love this place and I thought it was great for people that like to take pictures. And very interactive so you can take pictures with yourself with the characters. If you have the time, and of course the money, I highly recommend paying a visit to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. These are just a few of my favorite photos from Madame Tussauds Wax Museum from 2009. Forgive me if I accidentally get one of Hollywood Wax Museum photos in here, as I had the photos mixed uh, over the past 10 years. But I'm pretty sure I got most of them, if not all of them, correct. Just a few steps away is the Grauman's Chinese Theater, or currently in 2020, the TCL Chinese Theater. The Chinese movie theater is a popular place for past and present movie premieres. This is also a tourist hotspot, so if you want to get really good pictures without being interrupted of the uh, signatures and handprints in the cement, you need to get there pretty early in the morning. Welcome to the legendary Grauman's Chinese Theater. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
Neymar. Vou picar é a pessoa que já fez. Oh, one of my favorites. Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, I did get it. I just, yeah, I couldn't make it out. Tom Hanks? Yeah, I got Tom Hanks. Bob Williams. I put my hand in there, but you know how many people put their hand on there? <laughs> I do it in, I did it on all Oh yeah, you almost have to. I did it anyway. Yeah, you almost have to. I used to go to Drummond's Chinese Theater and, and try to fit my foot in a celebrity impression. It really meant to me that anything is possible. Almost. Marilyn Monroe. After leaving the Chinese Theater, you head east on Hollywood Boulevard to Hollywood and Highland. And on the southeast corner is the Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium. Here you will find things like the quarter million dollar Marilyn, or an Egyptian mummified hand. This is the type of place where you could spend a couple hours in. If you have the time and the money, I recommend going to Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium. <laughs> Does it have a scanner to get you in? Or? Yes, sir. I'll scan it for you. Thank you. I love Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium. Right as you walk in, it's a visual spectacle. The museum is filled with all kinds of believe it or not stories. There's even a little trickery. <laughs> A little history about Ripley himself. 201 countries. In 20 years, that's impressive. All types of, believe it or not, gadgets and contraptions. One room has a bunch of posters and things that create illusions. I was quite impressed with this. Yeah. Whether you believe it or not, this museum contains many, many, believe it or not, stories. Oh, because you do all that cropping. It can get a little odd as the tour goes on, but that's the beauty of it. <laughs> there are a lot of okay. guest interactions here. I recommend that you take your time and try to do them all. Just the black light, I guess, yeah. Eventually it fades. Position yourself against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Look into this structure. Five, four, look into the flash. Three, two, one. Now Ooh, that is right. on the wall. No matter where he goes, he's always sure to get a reaction. Yeah, look how it fades off. What if you touch it? Here, push the button. Position yourself against the opposite wall and strike a pose. Don't look into the flash. Just push the button. Five. I'm going to be like uh, three, Ross on Friends. One. Get the tan. Now check your shadow on the wall. Yeah, the closer you get, the, the better the shadow is, huh? Do it again. Actually. Leaves one there anyway. Yourself, <laughs> 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 probably watch him, Bob. Put it up on the wall. Two, one. Now, <laughs> <laughs> flipping me off. That's great. pretty cool. <laughs> was hesitant about appearing in public. This film was made to promote the company that manufactured his shoes. Your ordeal is an alien. Yeah, cameraman 
lost no opportunity to accentuate his height. Even New York's got Isn't that cool? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you really? I can see it because it does kind of, no matter how much you try, it definitely mines a little bit. Let me see if I can stare at it and then walk. If I can walk a straight line. Because it looks like it's just a little piece of board there that's moving. Once you get used to it, that visual effect. Let's see, ready, I'll wait. And now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you see me? I started going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't even say I didn't even under. <laughs> you gotta stand there for a minute and let it. I like standing there and just watching. It looks like the track's moving. Yeah, you better use the rail. <laughs> okay, ready? Go. <laughs> you can't help but to kind of. My feet know they're on solid ground, but my, <laughs> my body ain't doing it. You better hold the rail. <laughs> Watch these steps here. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> were, you, were, you, were you playing it off or were you really? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> we exit Ripley's, believe it or not, auditorium onto Hollywood Boulevard in Highland. There we turn east and just past McDonald's is the Guinness Book of World Records Museum. Another place that is well worth the time if you have the money. You could spend a couple hours inside this air-conditioned building, which is great during the summer hot months. And they host all type of record breakers, like the woman with the most tattoos, the longest neck, and the shortest woman to ever live. Recorded, that is. The Guinness World Records Museum entrance has some interactive photo opportunities for you to take advantage of. For instance, the man with the world's largest waist has a pop-out where you can stick your head in as Midnight Bob is doing here. Or the world's largest motorcycle with a Mickey Mouse on back. Pictures, pictures, pictures. I can't stress this enough when you're visiting these places. Take as many as you can. With today's technology, with digital cameras, you can always erase the bad ones and keep those special moments. I can't be street. And legal. if at all possible, huh? Videotape. Mickey, I can see Mickey. Videotape. Videotape. Oh my god, I just showed you how old I am. What I meant was digital record, digital record, digital record. I really like displays like this, and this one shows you the height differences between buildings and the St. Louis Arch, uh, the Eiffel Tower, the NASA uh, building. They were all record holders at one time and maybe still are. It is really neat to see things like the oldest message in the bottle, or the woman with the most tattoos. Can't remember what all the records are for, but you can find yourself spending a couple hours in this building, and again, if it's summertime and it's air conditioned, it's well worth the price. Just strange and interesting stuff, like the longest necked woman, or even the shortest woman that was ever lived that was ever recorded, or the tallest man. Crazy, right? I guess there really were giants. If you get the chance and you're on Hollywood Boulevard, I do recommend checking out the Guinness World Records Museum. Now when you're done with the Guinness World Records Museum, you step outside and right across the street is the Hollywood Wax Museum. The Hollywood Wax Museum is more of a set piece where they have their wax uh, dummies, I guess, their wax figures on a set from their movie. Again, if you have the time and the money, I highly recommend visiting the Hollywood Wax Museum, especially during the hot months of the summer where you can go inside and spend a couple of hours in the air conditioning. A 
lot of their set pieces and wax figures are really cool, like Charlie Chaplin, Jason and Freddy, and even Dracula. Okay, I was just trying to be funny, but you get my point. Some of these sets are really cool and well designed. So you have like a horror section with Elvira and the Mummy and uh, the Exorcist that we saw before, with some of my all-time favorites like the Crypt Keeper, Hellraiser, Pinhead. Here are a few of my favorites from the horror room. I think that's Beetlejuice. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember who this is, so if you know, comment below. We got a little Hellboy going on here. I think that's from Legend, if I remember correctly. The Hollywood Wax Museum has a red carpet room. Oh, excuse me. Where they have the top celebrities walking the red carpet to their movie premiere. I like how they have the hidden Easter egg of the Hollywood Wax Museum sign right there behind Angelina Jolie. My favorite room is the sci-fi room. It starts you off with three figures from Star Wars. We all know who they are. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon, and Anakin. Of course, the Terminator. Uh, okay, this isn't sci-fi, but they do take you to a room with classic characters like Humphrey Bogart, Marilyn Monroe, Elvis Presley, Laurel and Hardy. I don't know who the guy is with the cane. Wonder Woman. Forrest Gump. Conan the Barbarian and so much more. Here are just a few of my favorites. Let's see how many you can name. Okay, that's me. That doesn't count. Detail on this one was superb. actors that I grew up with and absolutely missed. If you haven't seen any of their movies, I highly recommend you check them out. That was Sean Connery and Gene Hackman. Both men are still alive, they just retired from acting. Well that concludes this episode of Mad Trippin'. Thanks for watching. Please join us for our next episode where we explore Hollywood Boulevard. Where we walk amongst the stars. We even spot some celebrities and end up being out in front of the premieres of Inglorious Bastards and All About Steve. We will visit Michael Jackson's star and we'll even tell you some of the do's and don'ts that you need to know about on Hollywood Boulevard. See you next time on Mad Trippin'.